Hey creators, I am Larimar. So in this video, I created a pick a card reading. And my readings are all about how to become the best version of yourself. In this video, I specifically focused on what's coming up next week and how you can best use this time to your advantage. So here you see a really cool three illustrations. We have Solar Eclipse, Magic Wand, and a goldfish in the fishbowl. So feel free to pause this video if you need more time and choose one image that you're most drawn to. And the timestamps are below in description. And if you want to see more cool illustrations created by this artist, check out this Instagram. And before I get started, I would like to start off with shout outs. So lately I realized that we're actually co-creating this experience all together, even though I create all the contents of my channel. So that being said, your engagement, like liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing are really helping me grow my channel and continue doing this creative journey of spreading positivity. So I really appreciate it. And this week, shout out to XOXO Leo. Thank you so much for your support. And if you're interested in getting featured, it's very simple. Just take a picture of this video and post it to your Instagram stories and make sure to tag me Tara Day, which is my Tara account. And that is it. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so if you pick the first image, this is the message for you. Give God, stay focused, hold the course. For tarot cards, you've got two of wands, ten of pentacles, seven of swords, got time to go. Ooh, you've got coffin. And action and dance. So I'm picking up a lot of active movement going on, but at the same time, I feel like you are uh, kind of shifting into a different phase, whether it be a creative project or a relationship. This coffin does not literally mean a death, but this could be a release of some sort especially with this card time to go together so let's take a look at this tarot cards first so two of wands and ten of pentacles and seven of swords okay so some of you guys are having a big vision regarding your career and life path in general it could be related to accumulating money this is a card of stability and and you're moving forward like you're literally taking action very active taking action to achieve your big visions it's not going to be accomplished within a week of course but i feel like you are you're definitely on the right track so stay focused and hold the course so with the Seven of Swords, I feel like your willpower is going to play, play a key role. So on one hand, there are certain things phasing out of your life and uh, just let it go. I feel this could be like you are done with some projects and you're moving on to the next one or scaling up to the next level. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. The baby is crying. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign, you know, some of you may be um, holding on to certain things that you don't want to let go of. But I, but the more actions you take and become more proactive regarding your goals, the more progress you're going to accomplish. And I feel like I want to read this out for you 
Dance, move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. By the way, this video is timeless, and whenever you come across this message, that will be the right time to listen to this message. However, I am recording this video under the influence of Mercury ret retrograde, so some of you may be learning. And finding a missing piece of information, and that is going to help you stay focused on your visions and move forward. And how you can best use this time to your advantage? Well, focus on your big vision and think big. Don't get so caught up with the details. Two of Wands is about researching, planning ahead, and. Coming up with a big vision. Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles represents your being on top of your resources, including your money, time, and energy. So overall, I feel like next week is going to be very active, and you're going to see a noticeable progress. So keep going with the flow, and I think you are going to accomplish quite a lot. To stay focused on your goal, and let things be. Like, if there is something that you need to let go of, just let it go and work with what stays with you. Oh, and we're also having another lunar eclipse coming up in early July. So, you know, lunar eclipse is all about. Releasing and completion of some sort, and it's happening in Capricorn, another indication of work. So, you know, depending on the shape of your birth chart, this lunar eclipse will affect you guys differently. But overall, theme of this lunar eclipse is about. Taking your duty and responsibility to the next level, and it's time to reevaluate and and move on to the next level. Yeah, so this is your message, and and I would love to hear from you which part you resonated the most and what you liked the most from your reading. Or after a week, check back to this video and and share with me what happened. And I lately created my tarot account on Instagram. It's Tarot Days. Make sure to follow. You can get daily posts for self love, self empowering messages. And if you like this reading, consider subscribing to my channel. And thank you very much. Have a great week. All right. So if you pick the second image, the magic wand, this is a message for you. So let's see what cards you've got. Oh, you've got uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. You've got women holding a heart. Storm warning. Regeneration. Great. You also got snake. For tarot cards, you've got Queen of Pentacles and Nine of Wands. For a unicorn message, you've got Innocence. Okay, so let's see. I want to look at the type of energies coming up next week. So you've got Heart Chakra energy and Storm warning. I feel like there might be a, some sort of crisis happening, but I don't feel like this is a catastrophic event. But it could be more of like internal realization, like you're hurt, maybe shaken a little bit, and and I'm recording this video at the end of June, like early July. We're having another lunar eclipse in July. And this can definitely cause some sort of 
shakeups. Followed by a regeneration. I'm really glad that you've got this card as well. So to become the best version of yourself, I feel like you need to identify what is it that your heart is calling, your soul's calling. And whatever that is not aligned with your your heart's desire can be shaken and can fall apart so that you can build something more solid and substantial foundation that is going to support your heart and your souls. And you also got innocence and uncovering treasure. It says, take time to play, nurture your inner child, live with a childlike sense of wonder. So again, this is like a heart chakra energy, your inner child. So the best way to use this time for your greatest benefits is to find what really lights you up and what makes you fulfilled. Like allow yourself to play and be free from excessive burdens and responsibilities, at least for a couple of hours per day. You know, you need to feed your inner child regardless of your age. You guys all have inner child and it's your responsibility to let him or her free from serious burdens. And through this week, I feel like you're going to feel liberated and refreshed. And some of you may feel like, oh, what do I do? What do I need to do next? Like that kind of vibe I am picking up right now. And this Nine of Wands and Queen of Pentacles, uh, like some of you guys may be really obsessed and invested in your career and your job. This is very career oriented card and could be a little bit exhausted. And you may be wondering if this is the right way, right track for you. Because you could feel like you're going against the grain. But I feel that you really have your gifts. Maybe you are just beginning to learn about your own talents. Or you're about to discover sooner or later. So keep doing what you do. Like perseverance is required. Like even if you come across as like stormy moments you don't have to drop everything but this could be a really good moment epiphanic moments that you realize that what is it that you really want so that you can redirect your energy for a better direction okay lastly the snake energy i'm getting uh, two groups of people here one who is more spiritually oriented, I feel like you guys are going to awaken the kundalini energy. This is very profound and strong energy. Look at this, like snake and dragons. Like, the dragon looks like a bigger scale of snake. So if you're into spirituality, you can benefit a lot by focusing on your first chakra meditation or activating the first chakra energy one of the ways to do that is literally moving your body exercising and and practice grounding yourself it could be just walking barefoot or taking a walk and consciously stay in touch with nature go for a walk get some fresh air ventilate your space and I feel like overthinking is not going to help you. So how you can best use this time to your advantage? Let yourself be free and be comfortable with not knowing everything. And just note that you don't have to figure out everything right now. Your journey also has to do with wandering and having fun while figuring out the way, the right way. Just note that you have the full control over your time, resources. Alright, so that is the message that I'm getting. And 
Another message from the snake I'm getting is watch out for small prints. Like there is a potential that you get misguided. Not necessarily intentionally, but make sure make sure to check little details before you make a make an important decision. Gaslighting is coming up as well. So when you're dealing with some like challenging person or a situation, try to read in between the lines. Because the person you're dealing with may not person you're dealing with may not necessarily uh, take care of your best benefits. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. And they could be just reacting because of what's happening in their life. So don't take things too personally and make sure that you check the details and try to be more practical and check the facts. So that's what I'm getting. And at the same time, go with the flow. You don't have to figure out everything right now. How you can best use this time is to find your strength, what you're good at it, and reclaim your worth. Acknowledge your accomplishments, how you've come so far. You cannot control the external situations exactly in a way that you want, but you can control over your inner world, how you perceive yourself, and your self-image is going to totally change what you're going to experience onward. So this is a new beginning and very powerful. So focus on what you're good at and, and stay grounded. So that is the message for you. And I would love to hear your feedback. And now I want to turn it over to you. Share with me whether you resonated and what you like the most. And I lately created a tarot Instagram account, Tarot Day. So make sure to follow it so that you can get daily tarot posts for self-love, self-empowering messages. And if you like this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and like this video. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Alright, so if you pick the third image, which is a goldfish in the fishbowl, this is the message for you. So you've got discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. For tarot cards, you've got ooh, ace of cups and knight of pentacles in reverse, queen of wands. Very empowering. Oh, you've got swan and oh, flamingo. I love it. I love how cards are speaking to each other. And you've got expansion from unicorn message. It says spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world where you're made of. Beautiful. Oh, and I forgot this card. For the energy that is coming up next week, you've got contract. Okay, so for some of you guys are signing a contract next week, we're talking about a legal matters. It could be about a collaboration. So, yeah. So overall, let's look at the tarot card first. You've got Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and Queen of Wands. So all this together, I feel like you are uh, going to develop an existing relationship or you can meet a new contact, most likely related to your careers. I'm getting a very strong career vibes. And this new project or deal can be a long-term project. It can be effective for a long time and this project or deal will affect you on the long term and overall this could be very pleasant experience there's something that you're very excited about and this one represents a friendship or a very close friendship or love affairs 
so some of you can be dating and have a really good relationship with your love interest i feel like you are expanding um a certain area of your life scaling up something that was not available before is now available like you are literally transitioning into the next chapter of your life and specifically i feel like actually uh throwing an astro dice for more details i mean this is a general reading so it's gonna be different for everyone but at least i want to know some more details yeah 10 10th house this is the house of career your reputation recognition so i think you're going to have significant progress in your career and you could be recognized by your boss or some other important figures in your career scene and how you can best use this energy next week let's see mars mars is the planet of action so be more active and don't be afraid of scaling up your investment if you're an entrepreneur or uh, expand your territory take risks take calculated risks because i think it's going to serve you really well and you now have you can have more independence and you're able to make a sound decision on your own queen of wands is very independent and self-sufficient this has nothing to do with gender but queen of wands are more self-expressive like you're not afraid of expressing your needs and now you're having almost like newfound passion you would be more self-motivated to go forward and this could be because of your friend or lover or love interest i feel a really good support around you uh, most likely emotional support and you can find more truth about something you can find an important clue that will help you guide you to the next uh, level in your project again i feel a really strong vibe of career so so how you can best use this time well if you haven't been socially active uh, you can consider meeting new people you know these days we are practicing social distancing so perhaps you can use social media you know there are a lot of different ways to get connected to like-minded engage in your community and take calculated risks you know these two cards are also associated with libra you may be a libra rising sun or moon or you may be dealing with libra people so overall i think it'll it'll be really important to maintain a good relationship uh, with others because they are very supportive of what you're doing and they're very encouraging they could possibly give you helpful advice guide you to the next spot and help you expand so this is the message for you group three and i would love to hear from you comment below what you resonated with the most where you can come back next week and tell me what happened and if you like this reading consider subscribing to my channel and like this video and hit the bell button so you don't miss the new video when i post it and you can also follow me on tarot day instagram to get daily tarot posts for self-love self-empowering messages i've been pretty active in that account lately so that could be one way to interact with me so yeah i hope this is helpful and have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.